Local rivers and streams continue to run high. And you may have noticed the snow levels receding up to the highest mountain peaks. Water managers are still working under flood operations in some areas. News Channel 7's Sophia Bliss takes a look at where the snowpack levels stand right now across southern Idaho. The snowpack in southern Idaho is decreasing with the warmer temperatures, but many spots are still well above average for this time of year. Overall, southern Idaho is sitting at about 160% of the snow water equivalent. That's the amount of water we'd have if all the snow melted. The snow water equivalent is tracked by the USDA and is pictured on graphs that look just like this. The bottom here shows the months as we go throughout the year, and the purple line shows the maximum amount that we have seen at this particular site and the red shows the minimum amount of snow water equivalent we've seen. The black line shows 2023 so far, and the green line shows the median snow amount. We're going to take a look at three different sites. This first one is Bogus Basin. This site saw its highest snowpack on record this year. The records go back to 2000. The levels we're seeing right now are similar to what we would typically see in about April. On average, the melt is done at this site by May 23rd. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at Bear Basin, which is near McCall. The melt there is about halfway done. Typically, the melt is done here one week from today on May 23rd. The Chocolate Gulch site is the closest to Sun Valley. You can see a dramatic drop off here with that black line that shows 2023 so far. So this site has seen a significant amount of melting. It's on track with one of the latest melts since 1999. Typically melting at this site is already done by this time of year with an average of May 11. The National Weather Service Pocatello office issued a flood warning for parts of the Big Wood River near Haley. It's going to stay in place until further notice. Smaller roads may be flooded in West Ketchum. At last check, the Big Wood River is around five and a half feet. That's above the official flood stage of five feet. By Friday, temperatures will be warming even more and river levels are expected to be above the moderate flood stage. To sum everything up, snowpack is well above average for this time of year. Rivers continue to run high, fast, and very cold. We could still see some flooding in the weeks ahead, but that possibility will dwindle with the snowpack. For Idaho's News Channel 7, I'm Sophia Bliss.